Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus here doing another Power Rangers action figure review on the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Zord Ascension Project Mighty Morphin Dino Megazord. I've been waiting for this for quite some time and there have been many, or not many, but several Dino Megazord offerings from other companies that I've passed on and I've been tempted but God, man, the prices on those have been really, really high. I think they did a great job with the packaging over here on one side. You have some nice looking artwork on the other side. You can see the Dino Zords and on the back, great looking product shots. Everything is embossed on this packaging. So you have spot varnishing and all kinds of embossed images throughout. On the top of the packaging, you do have an embossed Z right there. And then on the bottom, you just get some legal stuff and it says plastic free packaging. But there's nothing cheap about this plastic free packaging, man. If you cut the tape on each side, you could go ahead and remove the slip cover and you have that really nice Megazord head sculpt image or head image right over there. And on the back, you get this really nice shiny Z and that's embossed. And then you lift up the cover and then you can see all kinds of shiny goodness for all the dino megazords it looks awesome then you have a nice image right here on the inside of that cover but anyway this looks incredible i gotta crack this thing open but first i feel incredibly lucky to have all these action figures over here but i also feel very lucky for having hellofresh as a sponsor if you don't already know HelloFresh is a food delivery service where you can pick out pre-prepped meals where you don't have to buy all the ingredients. It's all there for you in a box and then you get to make it yourself at home. Now for me personally, I love my junk food and it's not good for the gut, right? I'm past 40 now. I'm gonna be 41 this year. Gotta eat a little better and HelloFresh helps with that. We've already been using HelloFresh before this sponsorship deal as well as my parents and my brother and we have all loved it. And HelloFresh is very affordable. You're spending about the same amount of money on your junk food as you are when you're buying these prepped meals. I highly recommend you check it out. If you want to, go ahead and use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use my code POGSPRIMESEPT16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes. Plus, you get three free gifts. So take advantage of it, man. Link in the description below. <laughs> and here's all the dinosaurs out of the packaging. And I gotta say, first impressions, I think these look fantastic. I am really impressed with the paint apps. Sculpts look really awesome. There is a little bit less weight to them than I was expecting because the box is fairly heavy, but these aren't as heavy as I was kind of hoping they would be. But then I wasn't expecting any die casts, so I don't know why I thought they would be so heavy just because of the box, I guess. But anyway, these look great. Let's get a closer look. So here's all the accessories that come with the Dino Megazord. And you can see that we get these nice instructions right over here. This is freaking insane, but we'll get a closer look at that in a second. You get interchangeable hands for the Megazord. I do like what they've done over here. I do prefer articulated hands, but I still think these look really good. And he does come with weapon holding hands that are in the Mastodon at the moment. So we'll see those later. Later on, you get these minifigures over here, so you can see the Black Ranger looks really good. Nice poses. Here's a look at the Yellow Ranger. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you got the Sabertooth Tiger pose right there. You can see Red Ranger, and then we get the Pink Ranger, all in their iconic poses, which I think is great. And then you have the Blue Ranger right over here. All of them looking really good, but holy crap, this is next level. What the hell, man? Look at this. This sword is amazing. I love the back metal on this. This is really good. I mean, it is a fingerprint magnet, but still, God, it looks really, really pristine. Very pleased with this. And when it's packed, it's packed in one of these wax paper thingies right here. <laughs> So my brother and I did have the original Dino Megazord from way back in the day, so I'm not going to be able to compare anything. They have been sold uh, quite a few years ago. My brother did sell them, but I really like the paint detail that we're seeing on the inside of this. Then you have these two guns right over here that will come into play later on, but I like how they kind of pose his feet so you can get it to stand up. And then you have a little bit of a translucent plastic right over this silver part right over there. So that looks really good. And then I wanted to go back to the Mastodon over here. This looks fantastic, man. God, all the intricate paint detail throughout on this just look great. I really love how the silver paint pops on this thing. The yellow paint on the side of it looks really good. Really nice with all the texturing and all the sculpted detail. You have a little bit of a swirling thing going on in some of the plastic, but 
it's not bad enough where it really upsets me. I'm not seeing it a whole ton. You'll see some parts of it. Uh, he does have butt covers, which we'll talk about later on, which I thought was kind of funny. But yeah, this looks really good, man. I'm really pleased with this. The eyes and everything. Ah, oh, man, th this is dope. You're just looking at the underside of it. So yeah, they crushed it with this. I really think they crushed it with all of them. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off the pilots. They have pilots in all of them too. That's just a really cool little feature. Uh, you could pry them all open in different spots. The Mastodon one's really tricky to get to, but uh, I don't want to pick off any white paint holy crap that took forever i had to kind of push down on the top of it but yeah you can see you get a little faux pilot on the inside or it's a real pilot but he's just sculpted in there that is really cool and they all have that feature so with the pink ranger you could see her sitting on the inside of the pterodactyl right there that looks really good. And here's looking at the Triceratops. I think they crushed it with the paint applications again, man. This looks so good. Uh, I'm so pleased with it. It does feel like a premium piece to me. You know, it, it just looks great. Nice sculpted detail with the eye and everything. So yeah, man, love the silver paint that we're seeing right over here on the back. And then, yeah, if you lift up the nose, uh, you can see little blue ranger sitting on the inside right over there. And we have Sabertooth Tiger and she has a little flippy flip right over here at the top of the head so you can see yellow ranger sitting inside there nice details right over here I like the silver paint apps again you get the teeth painted all silver looking very clean and then the arms and legs have some nice detail a bit hollow on the inside i don't like that not a big fan of seeing that big emptiness this is probably one of my biggest gripes with the whole purchase is the saber tooth tiger uh, having these empty legs and then on top of it not having hinged feet that does bother me i wish the feet were hinged uh, you also have this split right here in the middle and i can't pinpoint exactly why it does this i mean i get having the articulation i like that but i ain't know why it's supposed i still don't know why it's coming apart right there but anyway here's some details right here with the gray and really nice silver paint on the tail once again so that looks really dope i guess you could plug in some blast effects in there if you really wanted to like maybe one of these will a marvel legend effect fit in there oh no it won't or a little black widow effect piece uh it's a little bit too small for it and that i think this looks really good right here i love the sculpted detail throughout on this this is awesome man wow just absolutely love it this is so sick ah very very pleased with this uh, you can lift this up and reveal the red ranger sitting inside so you get the red ranger just sitting right in there look at all, all those sculpted panel lines and everything throughout eyes look great uh, you do have some megazord horns sticking out from the back of it that does throw me off a little but i still think this looks really cool man uh, i'm very pleased with it with all the detail and all the silver and everything, I feel like it should be heavier. It does feel on the light side, but when I look at everything, it doesn't feel cheap at all. And it's not like so light to the point where it feels like cheap trash or anything to me. It's just lighter than I expected to because it looks very premium. It's just that I tend to expect a premium weight to go along with it. But man, uh, nice features right over here. You could open up the mouth and everything. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go over the articulation and start transforming these figures in a second, but I just wanted to get a little comparison action going on over here so you could get an idea of how large these figures are. So you could see uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex over here and Grimlock side by side. And then we also have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man over there so you can get an idea how big of each of these are. So just want to get that scaling in there because I don't have any other Megazord in my collection to compare it to. But anyway, uh, to go over the articulation for the Sabertooth Tiger, this one I do like. However, uh, I just have my complaints about uh, the ankles more than anything else. But you do get some good range of movement. This pops off over here, so I guess you get pivoting right over here at the torso. And you can move this up and down. Uh, you could rotate the legs forward and back a bit. I don't know why this comes off. It's one of my bigger complaints about the figure you could bend only once at the elbow then you could move the sabers forward and back or his fangs forward and back and then you have jaw articulation you can move the tail up and down just a little bit the rear legs move forward and back you get knee articulation but no ankle articulation you can still get this guy into some fun poses or this girl in fun poses i guess but it's just not uh, as articulated as i would like it to be of course you can move the head up and down and you can pivot the head and it does move up and down so there is articulation over here um especially when you compare it to the other ones but because of that foot articulation 
you always have to make sure things are aligned properly. Uh, for the Mastodon over here, uh, we don't get nearly as much stuff going on. You can rotate the, the trunk right there, which I kind of think it's neat that you can do that. I like him posed like this. You know, I think it looks cool. And you can rotate the tusks a little bit. It feels like they're not supposed to actually move around the head. Uh, it's not really, <laughs> it's not really meant to move around and I, and you can't really move the feet around. So as far as Mastodon goes, you're going to get articulation with that trunk. Uh, for Triceratops, uh, you can move the head a bit side to side. It will pivot and it will move up and down quite a bit, especially due to transformation. And you can move the tail up and down and you could rotate these guns up and down right over here. Uh, but yeah, it just kind of slides along. I didn't have these ported out all the way. My bad, but yeah, there you go. It does look better. You can see more of that black paint on the inside right there. So that's looking pretty good. Nothing actually rolls. It's all faux rolling. Um, yeah, and then for the pterodactyl, uh, you get the neck articulation. The head moves up and down. You can move the wings in and out a little bit. And then, you know, the feet are just clipped on there. So feet, they're guns anyway. The Tyrannosaurus obviously has the most articulation. You can move the head up and down. You have the jaw articulation. You can see the, <laughs> the Megazord eyes in there. But yeah, you cannot really rotate the head side to side. You can move the shoulders up and down and it does bend at the elbow so that's cool you get one piece of articulation right over there and then you can't oh you can move the torso side to side and you can move the legs outward i mean these are basically the megazord legs so they're very ratchety and clicky uh, you get rotation at the thigh right there and then you get the single jointed knee and you can move that kneecap around and then the ankles just move up and that's it. All right, so let's get these combined. We take away Bumblebee. All right, let's start with Sabertooth Tiger. I'm gonna flip that back. I don't know why I had to do that so forcefully. I was just excited to do it, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna fold those legs in and we could rotate uh, the, the fangs sticking upward and then these legs are just gonna stick for stick out forward like that And then that's gonna be your connecting port and then we're gonna do something similar for triceratops And then move these in right here, and I'm pretty sure that's it for triceratops Mastodon has the most complex transformation You're gonna pop the head off right here, and then you also get these butt covers which kind of trip me out so you have the butt covers that you just need to pick off right here and pick that off right there and then move these sideways and splay outward like that and then that will connect to the back we could take these off of the feet of the pterodactyl and we could go ahead and just move the wings inward like that and that'll do for her and of course with tyrannosaurus rex uh, we want to make sure that the arms are folded in up here like that and then we're going to bend the knees and fold this down and you have the connecting port hidden in the shin. Man, I really like the silver plastic on this thing. This is a pretty stiff joint. You want to really make sure that that kneecap is faced up, facing upward all the way so that you have the clearance for it. So move that down, move that all the way up. Then you can move this little connecting port out from his shin. Ah, you also want to make sure that you shift the inner thighs facing outward and that's ready to go. So we can get everything combined now. Let's go ahead and start with the first two. We'll do Sabertooth Tiger connects right there. We have Triceratops ports in right there very nicely. And then we can get Mastodon on the back. Make sure these are facing forward and it has these clips right over here on the sides. So I'm gonna spread this outward a little bit so that it could properly port in on each side like that and get these facing forward like so. And then we can go ahead and attach the Mastodon to the front right over here as well. This is the little piece that sticks out and it just hooks on that little hole on the chest of the T-Rex. Getting proper leverage for that is tricky, but there that goes. And then we'll take pterodactyl and boom there that goes oh yeah we have the feet yeah port those on right here and port that on right there yeah now we have their combined mode and that looks sick oh very very pleased with that that is very very cool looking just like it just right out of the show really dig that a lot man <laughs> These could aim upwards, like in the, in the show, they would shoot upwards at the monster and everything until they had to get into battle mode. That is just freaking cool, man. Wow. I mean, really, the only downside to this... Oh, 
I mean, for me, the only real downside to this thing is that I, oh God, damn it. Now, I love how this looks. I think this is awesome. It just doesn't have wheels at the bottom, which would have been nice, but you know, you could pretend it's rolling forward and back and everything. Uh, but I do wish that there was proper storage for these pieces right over here. Like, I don't mind the parts forming that much. I guess you could just put them back where they came from. Not really. I don't know, maybe that kind of works if you want them to just rest there. But that's my only real gripe about this thing at this moment in time, especially with this mode, anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know, semi-sufficient, <laughs> these coverings right over here. Just trying to give them some kind of use because I just don't like having extra stuff laying around. I want everything to be together, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below because I'm digging it, but I am going to dig the Megazord mode a lot more so. Uh, just to bring back Grimlock again, just so you can see a size comparison once more. Just wanna show those off one more time before I get them transformed into the Dino Megazord. All right, now let's get these Zords into battle mode with the Dino Megazord. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? All right, so the first thing you wanna do is remove these guns right over here, and then you can take the Pterodactyl off right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and snap the tail off and it does port into the back right over here, like so. And then you can go ahead and port these onto the back of the figure right over here on the bottom of the feet. You could remove the mastodon right there. And then you could just bring these hips down. Oop, this is supposed to be flipped up right over here. And then this is supposed to be flipped up. I'm not even looking at the directions at the moment. I'm kind of trying to just prove how easy this thing is to transform, which I think is great. Legs. You want to have move up, head move up right there. Maybe better to do that after or before, I mean. Uh, and then you can shift these inner thigh parts back into place by moving them inward like that. And then now it can stand up. Just have to readjust the feet a little bit. All right, not looking bad so far. Then I'm gonna remove these little coverings right over here. And then these are gonna swing outward. The directions say swing them inward, but yeah, you wanna swing those outward and then you can move these arms down right here. And then we can go ahead and move the uh, wings out right here on the pterodactyl, then fold the head in and then put those wings back into place. These will connect right over here with these two slots. Oopsie, you wanna move this down first and then down in there. So there that goes. You can move the T-Rex head in there and then flip this back up into place and then port these two sides in right over here. And then lastly, you can form the head like that and then give it the weapons. I like to keep the sword in this bag when I'm not using it. And we can go ahead and port that in and that's some really nice soft plastic that they have for the hands. And then go ahead and port the Macedon head onto this side right here. Boom, yes, and now we have the Dino Megazord all complete, and oh my goodness, I love this thing. It is so satisfying, man. I might throw down a couple of little gripes, but really, I am stoked for this thing. It looks fantastic, and I like the articulation too. All right, let's get a closer look. So getting a closer look at the head sculpt, I think it looks great. Only little minor complaint is I wish it had a tad bit more silver right there on the mouth guard area, but otherwise, I absolutely love this. I love the vibrant gold that we're seeing for the eyes right here. I think the paint looks very clean throughout. Uh, the shoulder pads have the translucent yellow, and it's like we've seen all this stuff before, but one thing I didn't mention earlier was that there is this tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of red staining happening right over here on the clear plastic. So that's a little gripe of mine. Also, yeah, the pterodactyl does come off easier than I'd like it to. The arms look really good with that silver paint. And I really like how everything looks over here. You have a soft material for the hands, which I think is a great choice. The legs look really good on this. And yeah, again, we saw this before, but showing it all off uh, completed over here or in his Dino Megazord form, I think it just looks great. I just wanted to move those back up into place. Didn't really do that properly. We'll go over articulation in a second. Uh, but yeah, you can go ahead and move that up. When he needs to go to the bathroom, you just move that down and... 
Sorry, but not sorry. All right. And then there's looking at the back right over there. Looking pretty sweet. Now getting the white backdrop back in here and going over the articulation, you can turn the Megazord's head side to side. It does pivot at the neck right there and moves forward and back that far. You can move the shoulder pads. You can also get the shoulders moving outward at about 90 degrees. Not quite though. And they move down. You could rotate a full 360. Ah, again, this chest this chest plate or the pterodactyl wants to pop off. Uh, you get a bicep swivel right over here and then you get a single jointed elbow that does meet the 90 degree mark and you get ball joints on the wrists right here. I did heat up the splayed open hand before porting it on, it just made things a little bit easier for me. One thing I didn't expect that I really like about this figure is that you can move this forward and you could utilize some ab crunch, which I think is awesome. It doesn't move back, but just crunches forward a little bit. You do get waist rotation. These panels will move out of the way. That helps moving the hip articulation so you can't get the legs outward that far. And you can get him kicking forward uh, at about 90 degrees and uh, not back at all you do have an upper thigh cut in there you have single jointed knees and it bends a little bit more with the saber tooth tiger side more so than the triceratops side i think and then both ankles have ankle pivot right here and they can move down as per their uh, or their transformation anyway but yeah uh, you can still get them to move up a little this does pop off on me but yeah, they rotate side to side, which looks great. And then you can move these legs around. That helps with supporting the figure as well. Yeah, oopsie. Uh, after you have these feet put in place over here, you can get a little bit more range of movement with these double jointed knees. I did just unport that, but, uh, and that pterodactyl wants to come off. I keep complaining about that. Let's just put her aside for right now. You can see that you do get a little bit more range of movement closer to 90 degrees. So uh, there are two joints in there you risk popping it off, but it is closer to the 90 degree mark than I demonstrated a minute ago. And to measure out the height of this Dino Megazord, you can see that it is standing at about 12 inches tall. And for a couple size comparisons, you can see the Dino Megazord next to Eye Guy right here. And then we also have the Lightning Collection Red Ranger. And then there's the mini fig that comes with this set right over here. Ah, I lied to you guys. I do have another Megazord. I have the 2000, was it the 2015 Megazord or 80% of it? I have a bunch of pieces around. I forgot where this little piece went right over here, but yeah, uh, man, this thing is still gigantic compared to get some more regular sized combiner. And then here's the Dino Megazord next to another sword wielding combiner. We have three fifths of a Menasaur from the Transformers Legacy line. And then here's the Dino Megazord next to a Transformers Masterpiece MP44 Optimus Prime. And I gotta say, the paint apps on this figure, for the most part, feel like they're in that same range of quality that I see on Masterpiece figures. Actually, in some ways, maybe even a little better than this particular copy. And then here's the Dino Megazord next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, we got a blue Dino Zord and we get a yellow Dino Zord and a black Dino Zord and a pink one and a red. There's no green ones. Ah, well, what's the deal with that? Let down. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. You really don't want to miss them. They're all spectacular. So I've heard anyway. I haven't really heard that. But anyway, I hope you guys really did like this video because I enjoyed making it. I really love this thing. I had a fun time putting it together. I mean, I love the packaging. I think the quality of the figure figure itself, or figures anyway, is really good. Uh, I have, I do have my minor gripes, but I'm very pleased with the back metal sword and everything. I think the accessories work out great. Uh, yeah, the pterodactyl falls off the chest a little bit easier than I'd like it to. And um, the saber tooth tiger, I feel I could have just used some ankle articulation, but I mean, really, other than that, I am very pleased with this thing, especially for me. I'm not a die-hard Power Rangers fan, so I wasn't going to drop like 400 bucks on a Dino Megazord. So for me, the price point around 160 bucks plus shipping and tax came out to like 180. For that price point, for me, that works a lot for me, especially for what I'm getting over here. I think that's a very reasonable price point. I feel very happy with it, and I'm gonna give it a sun rating of I love it. Oh no! <laughs> And I'd like to know what you guys think. If you have this already, do you feel the same way? Do you have other nitpicks or gripes that I didn't mention? 
that you have. You know, I'd like to know. So please leave a comment down below. If you want to see the latest in action for your news, you can find it all over at toynewsi.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me over on social media, which I recommend you do, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and whatnot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.